So I really don't think it's much of a stretch to say that most PC gamers at some point in their lives have been console gamers. I know that was the case with me when I was younger and I sort of evolved into PC gaming. It didn't happen all at once, it was sort of a gradual transition. Now there are a lot of perks to console gaming, it's simplicity being sort of one of the chief perks that is constantly pointed to by console gamers as a reason for avoiding switching to the PC gaming side of things, and frankly, I, I sort of see the point, especially if you're somebody that just wants to sit down on the couch and do your gaming. Another big problem is that many people aren't really willing to just drop a big desktop computer in the middle of their living room like I may be, or like some of you more uh, PC enthusiast types of people would be. So that's where something like this comes in. This is a small form factor Dell. Now this is an older Dell model than the one I'm going to be talking about in this video, but my point is that it's not much bigger than a modern console, and it won't just draw your eyes instantly if it is sitting inside of some sort of uh, entertainment console or entertainment center in your living room. And of course we can never ignore that many people always point to the cost of PC gaming as a reason uh, for not adopting it or as a barrier to entry. So what I want to do today is go over the process by which you could turn a PC that's about this size, actually basically exactly this size, into a console killing machine for about the same cost. We may go a little over the PS4 Pro budget, but I, I do mean a little bit. Now anytime I sit down to build a PC with a strict low budget in mind, one of the first places I go to is eBay because it is a great place to find used components or even used full systems that are relatively cheap and allow you to get a lot of performance for your money. For this particular build, we're going to be searching for Dell Optiplexes and we're going to be searching for ones with an i5-4590 in it. That's because we want that performance of a quad-core i5 processor that is somewhat modern. It has well-based processors. It's not brand new, but it's still going to give you more than enough horsepower for the graphics card that we're going to be sort of going with in this build. Now, once you've found your computer of choice, in this case, we went with a Dell Optiplex. And by the way, you could go with any number of small form factor PCs from other manufacturers. I just frankly like the looks of the Dell Optiplexes. Uh, we're going to hop over to Amazon and buy a graphics card. Now, the graphics card we're looking for is of a specific type. We need a small form factor graphics card with a low profile bracket and MSI delivers with a 1050 Ti that has a low profile bracket available for it, which will fit into this computer. Also worth noting, the 1050 Ti from MSI does not require any extra power outside of the PCIe connector. Now that we've hit about $370 on our budget, we can sort of start playing with what you need specific to you. Now, the PC that we started with from eBay was great in that it provided 4 gigabytes of RAM and it also provided a hard drive, which not all do, and I believe it even had a Windows key with it, though it was a Windows 8 key. So if you get a computer that does not have a hard drive or any sort of storage with it uh, and does not come with a Windows key, one of the first things you're going to need to do is pick up a Windows key if you want to at least play most PC games. Next up, I want to look at the mouse and keyboard solution. Now, if this is a media center computer, then maybe you want to get a wireless keyboard mouse combo like the one on the screen now, and that'll run you a little bit under $30. But even if you are just gaming in the living room, you could always just whip out an old uh, keyboard and mouse you may have laying around and just plug those in, even if it's just as a temporary solution until you can save up a little bit more money for a more elegant solution. But one thing you will almost certainly want, regardless of whether you are gaming in an office type setting or whether you're going to be gaming in the living room, is you're probably going to want a controller at some point. Even if it's not your primary means of gaming, you'll probably want it for things like driving games or just making the transition from console gaming to PC gaming a little bit more smooth. And you can pick up a really great controller. I recommend the Xbox One controller just because it works so well and it plays nice with Windows. Those run about $45. Now the PC we picked up has just 4 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm not exactly sure what the RAM configuration is. My Optiplex has 4 gigabytes of RAM as well, and granted mine is an older version, but they come in 4 1 gigabyte sticks. Now if we're lucky, the Optiplex that we started with would come with 
a free RAM slot or two that we could then just add some RAM to. But even if all the RAM DIMMs are filled up in the uh, Dell that we ordered, you can always just order more RAM and get it in a better configuration for your use case. You can find DDR3 pretty cheap if you're willing to look a little bit. I did a quick search on eBay and then just adjusted the filter to ending soonest. And the result was a two by four kit of DDR3 RAM. And it did end up selling for after shipping costs just under $35. So if you've been following along and you've purchased everything that I've suggested so far, you'll notice that the build total comes in around the $480, $490 price point. Now that's not the price point of a PS4 Pro right now, but that will get you up and running in PC gaming at great quality at 1080p. And possibly if you're willing to really sort of ratchet down the, the settings a little bit, you may even be able to game at 1440p in certain games, things like MOBAs. Um, or esports titles. So with this build, we have essentially conquered a couple of the biggest complaints that console gamers often have about PC gaming. We have made a system that is very small and will fit in almost any entertainment center without, without really drawing the eyes of anybody that's walking in. Um, it won't be ugly sitting right by your TV like my current PC is in my living room. And we've kept the cost very under control. Now, there are still a couple drawbacks. First and foremost, PC gaming, however you want to cut it, is still a little bit more complicated than console gaming in that there is a little bit more setup. Sometimes it will require you to install different clients for different games, and that just comes with the territory. And by the way, I don't see that as a negative thing. I see that extra choice of what platforms you want to sort of invest in on PC gaming as a good thing, but it does take a little bit more work on the setup side, but we're talking about a little bit more work. We're not talking about something that's complicated here. In addition, by going with this form factor, we sort of introduced one other issue in that this PC is not exactly an upgradable machine. Because we required a low profile graphics card, the 1050 Ti is about as high end as we can get there. And although we could upgrade our i5, there really wouldn't be much of a point to doing that. That being said, consoles aren't upgradable at all either. So we've topped the current generation consoles for barely more money, which we'll probably save back in the first year of owning the thing anyways, due to subscription fees and being able to buy cheaper games in general. So I don't view those as a loss for the PC. It's just a matter of saving up that extra little bit of money to get yourself started And as always guys if you like this content give me a like down below share subscribe comment All those things are super helpful to the channel You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Hoosier Hardware And as always we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you guys in the next video